Okay, here we are on a bright, bright, sunny day. It's Friday, July 7th, and it's your close date. I'm doing your final walkthrough here. Um, this is Unit A, 7026 Thomas Drive, Unit A. The house is clean, so it is ready for rental. Um, quickly, the key, main key for the Kaaba is located in a lockbox. Um, the hard key anyway, on the side of the house. We will get the code on Monday. Um, I did take pictures of all the instructions and there are clear, or clear plastic, um, I'll show you real quick here. Clear plastic surrounds or frames and we can modify these. You can send them to me, I can print them out um, in color and we can slip them in here. Um, we can just use their same instructions or modify them to your needs for the rental. I noticed no box springs have any um, old bed skirts. So might wanna consider doing that. Um, house is clean, they left basic towels. So I do think that's good, but it would be definitely a good idea to get a few more linens. Of course your housekeeping staff would be able to help you with that. This down here, this first door um, at entry in A and then flipped obviously in B would be a great place, in my opinion, to make it a owner's closet downstairs. You know, guests don't really need to come in here and it's pretty big. You could stow quite a few linens just like you did in Lindell um, and in a few of your other places. Everything looks good. And again, I've got pictures of all of these things that we can just copy and then change out. I'll try to count how many there are. Here's your laundry room. Everything is here. There's a small broom in this closet. So staff might wanna get an additional one, but I think that's just for the guests. Off the kitchen area. All of the contents are still here. I checked that out. You can have some spices. They didn't take anything, so you do have some basic needs. So whatever is in the current ad, we can just copy verbatim. Just to kind of illustrate what we're working with. And I'll make your other walkthrough a bit, bit better. Nothing under here. So they do have the basic detergent, sponge, yada, yada. Everything looks good here. Now there are three sets of keys. I haven't been over to B and that will be a separate video, but these, all these keys work for this back door here on the lock there. And then this set is the only one I have for upstairs and that will function for the back door as well as the owner's closet. I tested them all. And so let's go take a look upstairs. Now, if your housekeeping staff wants to come here and get a game plan, I can get permission for them to come and pop in and have a look at everything and do their run through. And again, box springs looks like they're getting dirty because they don't have those skirts. Maybe they can do an alternative. It wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe replace these, that soap pump, but small potatoes. Everything is again clean. You can tell, tell that people definitely have been renting here. I checked outside and 
you do have your pine straw. Everything here. So this lock here is that one singular uh, set of keys. And let me come over here real quick and I'll show you exactly. I forgot this bedroom back here. Bunk area. They always leave these unlocked. I scanned the instructions. If you want to set that as a keypad instead, um, I scanned these instructions that are here. And there is also a hard key set. So if the, you know, housekeepers want to use a hard key or you want to use the pad, you've got it here. We can work on, it doesn't even look like it has a battery in it. So probably have to put a battery in it and we'll figure out how to set that if you need it. But for right now, you do have a hard key, so that will work. And if we do have that code outside, maybe we can add a secondary lockbox for the housekeeping staff to access and replace the key when, when need be. Okay, so all your linens are here, all your fans, your remotes for your fans. We can add like no smoking signs or remove the smoking ashtrays down there. Cause you know, like what Michael said, it's sort of encouraging people to smoke. Um, here's your pine straw. It's all set. Pine straw all set. And again, that's no lock right there, but you do have the um, cameras here for, for extra protection. So when you go ahead and attach that ring, I believe that is the ring system. Yes, it is. It's a ring system that has, you know, all those different camera angles. I'm gonna go ahead and lock up here and I'm gonna go downstairs and show you the exterior patio here for A. Pardon the shaky view. Just want to get a good idea of what you've got here so we don't miss anything and you have it for reference. Okay. And again, for some reason, we have the lower door access keys. I haven't been to B yet, so I don't know if those are for B as well. I'll have to check but they do work for this back door, bottom and top locks. Would be a good idea. I've got power washing connections if we need them. This is definitely a hangout spot and it will be even more so when the pool goes in. That would be really great to see. I think that's what's missing here. It's a really fun pool. So let's go ahead and check out the exterior because they haven't been on this side. And again, that panel is there to protect the siding in the house so we don't have any rust. So if you wanna come up with like a more permanent solution to that, we can, we can do that. So I'm looking for that lock box and maybe where it might be. But here's the coastal waste and recycling. And remember, we want to, I know that you had talked to a couple different people. You might have to pay more to not have to have them on the side of the road and actually have the trash guys come in here and pick them up. Here's that lockbox. So this is the one we'll get the code to eventually. So there's that A side, and now I'll go to B for you.